opening up the window a little more. All right. So tonight I have photo paper and I'm just going to paint right here on the photo paper. How's everyone doing? All right. So I thought I, oh, that's all right. That's all right. My name is Megan as also, but uh, everyone calls me Whimsy. You can call me Whimsy. You can call me Megan. That's all right. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is do some photo paper. And so on, I'm pouring on the shiny side. So I am going to put a little bit of uh, silicone in this lightest blue color I have here. Give that a little bit of a mix. So how are you guys doing? How was your day? All right. So this one is going to be just kind of a menagerie. We'll just do a whole bunch of colors. Don't want too much, but... Hey, Amber, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. It's a busy time of the year. Life, life happens. <laughs> Getting us a little bit spread about somewhat. I'm going to get a little bit of Admiral Blue just randomly. So how have you been, Amber? And then I think I'm going to go with, I got to give it a little shake. Um, this blue, I mean, this blue, <laughs> this pink, it's a blush pink, kind of a nice dusty rose pink. Get a little bit of that in there. And I think I honestly will put just a little bit of this. Um, it's blue cotton is the color. Hey, Twyla, how are you? What do you mean? Does it count a lot? To, oh, does it cost a lot to do this? So um, with the photo paper supplies um, or just fluid acrylics in general, um, I have a video, uh, um, like a playlist, and it's a beginner's paint pour list. And so the whole playlist has uh, like supplies, everything. And so you got to have acrylic paint and then Floetrol is what I use. But yeah, I have a whole playlist on how to get going and what all, what all you would need just to get started. Then you can always add more. Some people buy everything to do every technique. But all right, guys. So this is a different type of photo paper here. This is Epson. You know, normally I use Polaroid photo paper. So we're going to do a test. Of, it does seem to be a much thinner photo paper, therefore hard for me to get pull apart. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, guys. So just a little bit of a spot I'm going to add a little paint. And you can kind of see those cells popping up before your eyes there. I got to try to make sure to go to the edge so I don't waste any. Oh, you had the flu last week? Oh, that's no good. Oh, you're going to be moving? Busy, busy. For sure. So, all right, guys. See how that silicone just, I mean, I haven't even torched it or anything. Just the, um, the, oh, what is that word? What am I trying to think of? The, uh. Tension when the surface tension, surface tension is what I was trying to think of when you pull them apart. 
So, all right, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do actually a couple more with that color, but I do have, ro um, yeah, I have rose gold here. I'm gonna add just a little bit of rose gold with those same colors, but rose gold added in. So I'm gonna put that away. Let me just make sure I'm not setting them on top of each other. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You guys can watch the cells develop right there live. All right. It's hard to pull these paper apart with my gloves. All right. So I'm going to do those same colors, guys. But I am going to add, we don't have too much, but some rose gold. But yeah, um, a lot of this paint, Twyla, is like apple barrel paint from Walmart. I just stay away from the regular white apple barrel. Gloss works just fine. Some people say don't use apple barrel at all. But gloss white works fine. And every other color works, you know, just fine. It's for some reason the regular old, it's like 50 cent white. It will not work. It'll crack. It's very chalky substance. It's very weird. But the gloss works just fine. See, I keep getting a lot of that blue, and I'm not quite meaning to. We'll just. I think I have two. Three. No, I have one. Um, But my favorite paint, what I mainly use, but. You can start out with the Apple Barrel from Walmart, but my very, very favorite paint is sold here locally, and then there is a little bit on Amazon, but it's a brand called Cheap Paint, and it's C-H-E-E-P, and that comes in four-ounce tubes. That paint is the very, very, very best for acrylic pouring, and then you, you mix it with Floetrol, and Floetrol can be bought at... Um, like uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or any of those uh, home improvement stores. Uh, Creations by Baby Doll. Do you use Apple Barrel paints? So, like right now, the colors we're using. Um, this pink is not apple barrel, but all three of those blues were apple barrel. China blue, cotton blue, and admiral blue. Those are all from Walmart. And then this is a rose gold that is folk art brand. And, and that, um, I believe that pink was folk art as well. You love Montmartre paint. An Australian paint. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I'll definitely. You love in the burgundy? And just recently, if people haven't noticed, uh, Apple Barrel there at Walmart, and Apple Barrel's at other stores too, but I mainly get it at Walmart. Um, it uh, added some new colors. It did take a couple colors away. Um, this China blue got just continued so that's the last I have a couple bottles but the last ones I mix those that's it but they did add a bunch of colors like they added um this new one cascade it's a really pretty color and it's a new one they added several new colors so I've been kind of experimenting with those they have a new color pink eraser oh that's a pretty one but I'll have to check for those ones Amber thanks for the tip yeah um, I really, really, really like the ones that are, um, they're called sheep paints um, because they have almost like a plasticky consistency, like in a good way, a plasticky consistency for this uh, acrylic pouring. But my recipe is one part paint to two parts Floetrol. Oh, <laughs> If you want a Christmas list, all you do is you go on my Amazon in the cart. <laughs> but yeah, what, what are your guys' favorite ones? What's your favorite paints? Have you guys used any of the um, pre-mixed paints they're coming out with? There's a lot of um, companies coming out with the already pre-mixed paints. Don't tell her. <laughs> All 
All right, I'm gonna tuck this one away up here, guys. Master's Touch. Oh, is it Master's Touch um, Hobby Lobby, I believe? A lot of people get that. We don't have a Hobby Lobby yet. They are remodeling our Sears one. Oh gosh, I almost dropped that one, guys, but I caught it. But um, our um, Sears went out of business as tons of most of the other Sears. I think every Sears. Um, but in the, where the whole old Sears was is going to be Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay, Michaels. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I maybe haven't noticed that one. I, I mainly do uh, Michaels uh, online. I tend to stick with, uh, well, I do most of my shop line, I, to be honest. Because that's like going into um, the bigger city, the bigger going into town for us to go to uh, Michael's. I was near Michael's today, but I was had an agenda. I couldn't stop, but it was calling my name. I was wanting to stop. Yeah, Artist Loft is Michael's. Yep. Oh, you can never get to the stores like me, it sounds like. Yeah, I don't tend to get to the stores too often. So um, I'll have to, I've been meaning to, I need to um, check out quite a few things in town. But um, you guys, uh, I haven't tried any of the pre-mixed paints. I'm going to try to get my hand on some of those pre-mixed paints so I can do some video reviews for you guys. But I was curious if you guys had tried any of the, the pre-mixed is what I mean by they've got a pouring medium. And I what I use for my pouring medium is the flow trough. So they've got a pouring medium already mixed in. And I have not used those. Yeah, Mike and I were talking about a husband babysitting area, a little husband center. Yeah, there's quite a few companies coming out with the um, the new pre-mixed paints. I've seen three or four. I believe I just saw Arteza. So have you guys used any Arteza paints or Arteza? I'm not real sure how you're actually supposed to. I have not used any of those either. I'm thinking about checking them out. Yeah, I think Artist Loft did just come out with the pre-mixed paints. And I've had, I've heard, because I did uh, read some reviews, and I've heard totally mixed reviews on them. So I'm kind of, I'm unsure which ones to start with. Dude area, no need for babysitting. Yeah, but I mean, like they would have in other stores. <laughs> no need for babysitting, just a seated. That's what I meant too. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to make sure I get to the edge. That's my problem is sometimes there's too much scrap on the edge. I want to make sure. They, their metallics dry really nice. Oh, awesome. That's good to know. I like folk art for the metallics. Folk Arts Metallics are pretty good, too. And that cheap paint, but they only have pearl, pearl black, gold, silver. They have four metallic colors. But with those four colors, the pearl you can mix with a lot of colors and make it into, um, you can make a lot of colors metallic-like with that. All right, just kind of speeding through them tonight. I'm trying to get quite a few done. I've been, um, yesterday's live stream, I showed what I do with these papers for those that weren't here for yesterday's live stream. I have a Cricut die cutting machine, so a lot of them get put through the Cricut machine. And then I cut out some and just all kinds of different stuff, uh, make pendants, make necklaces out of some. So let's go kind of more of a neutral color for this next one.
I'm going to show you guys this cascade color. Um, I think I am still going to go with this because this is where my silicone is. Oh, actually, I think I have silicone in this brown. I usually don't have silicone in my bottles very much. A very, very select few have silicone in the bottle. But I do believe this one does. And this cascade is such a pretty color. It's a new one of those new apple barrel ones. No, I don't have a rubber roller. The brayer is what it's called, a brayer. Um, I don't know if you remember one time we tried to buy one. And I ordered what I thought was one on Amazon or something. And it was totally, totally wrong. It was for like rubber stamping. And it was like a, a press thing for rubber stamping. It didn't actually, it wouldn't, it wasn't a roller thingy. But yeah, those would help big time. And I would probably want to gently, not too hard, do it with a brayer or rubber um like a roller thing, because I would think that you could, um, you would mix the paints a little too much if you did it. I'm gonna give a lot more of that cream color. Oh, with, um, when you did the waterproofing, Mike maybe used them. But yeah, that would probably work if you just kind of gently, but it also helps just to get the paint to the edge a little closer. Farm all. That is my first super chat. Thank you so much, Farm all. Oh, thank you. Boom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's my. Thank you, Farm all. Wow. Thank you. Boom, it's two dollars. Thank you so much. Yes, Mike's been li he's he's listened to the uh he's obviously listened to some streams because he knows he dropped a deuce. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. Well, you are my first, you are my first one. So how have you been, Farmall? Thanks so much for stopping in. You're awesome. How have you been? So here's this one. Yeah. Busy hunting and harvesting. That is awesome. That is awesome. Mike did. Mike's my husband, Mike the Greek. Uh, he did not go hunting this year. He chose to devote more time to um, fishing for this season. The hunting just hasn't been good in our, our area the last couple years. I saw that you got one, though. Yep, we've been gathering lots of mushrooms until it got super cold. Now there's no mushrooms. You got a big buck. Yeah, I showed Mike because um, here in the Northwest, we count the eye guards as, you know, when you're counting how big the. So I wasn't sure. I asked Mike, I said, how many is this? Because I wasn't sure if you count the eye guards. Because I saw you had posted, I believe, on your community page. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you do too. You count the eye guards. Okay. Cause some, some areas, they just, they don't count those as here. I guess I can move back a little bit. A point to point Mike says. Awesome. So we're going to get a little bit of blue down here. This is just um, photo paper. And then I, once this is all dry, I will collage this and make this into other art pieces along with this. Awesome. So, 
So that was antique white and blue cotton. And now we got some Tuscan teal. Kind of some neutral colors here. And I'm just randomly. So tomorrow, guys, my video tomorrow, it's going to be a good one. It's a whole new technique. That's my personal technique. We're going to have a video coming out. It's the, the whimsy swipe technique. Yeah, definitely. First one. Awesome, awesome. All right. So I'm trying to get a little bit more closer to the edge, guys. Let's see. Maybe I'll throw some more of that blue to get down to the edge. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, today's video, I explained what my mystery pours are because I've done a lot of those mystery pours. And I wasn't sure if people knew what those were, but that's where I just take on an app on my phone. It's a roulette wheel and I spin the roulette wheel and that's how I get the um, mystery pours, random colors, stuff like that. So how was your guys' day? What did you guys do? I actually went and had lunch with my dad and I haven't seen my dad in quite some time. So that was really nice to be able to catch up with him and visit with him for a little bit. So what did you guys do today? Anything fun, cool, exciting? Kind of see the cells develop. All right. So anybody have any suggestions? I don't have all of my colors here right next to me, but let's change it up. Let's go with some different colors. Anybody have any color suggestions you would like to see? Pick some soybeans. Awesome. Hey, you know what? My dream. Okay. I tell everyone this. If I want a million dollars, you know what I would do? I would buy a farm. You have my dream job. I, I would be a farmer in an instant. I would love to farm. Just maybe like farmer's market type. Small plots of things. Nothing like big and, you know, huge like you've got going on. You've got the big stuff going on. But I would, I, that was my dream. I would love to farm. Hey, Angela, how are you doing? How was your day? Okay. Uh, any suggestion for colors or I'll just kind of start grabbing? I've got um, a good variety here with me, but not all of my colors. Some purple. I've got um, more of like a plum color. I don't have like a straight purple right here in front of me. But I do have a plum, a real nice, pretty plum color. And then this color looks real good. Try and get here to the edge a little. Um, I do have this. Um, it's kind of a bluish purple. It's kind of a periwinkle, honestly. So I get a little bit of that down. Any other suggestions to add to this one we got going so far with some plum and periwinkle? I'm trying to keep my hands in the frame to keep it from jolting too much for you guys. The autofocus is tries me bananas. So I think I'm going to put in a little bit of this teal color I think would look nice. And then I honestly think some gold or some sort of metallic I've got here in front of me. I have copper, gold, and rose gold. 
there's that rose gold. There's not too much of that, but enough. A little bit of a, a shimmer there. All right. So it's the periwinkle blue that has the um, silicone on this one. None of the other colors have silicone for this one. And on yesterday's live stream, I showed lots of examples of what I do with these papers. And uh, next Tuesday's live stream will be, again, I'll be collaging a bunch of these up. Uh, I plan on doing um, some quotes. I'll um, cut some of these out. Not these particular papers because they won't be dry by Tuesday. But our last little batch of them, we've got quite a few still left over. And so I'm going to cut a couple of quotes out. I'm going to try to get some. We've got a lot of girly stuff. I think I'm going to try to cut some images out. There may be some more boy, little boy, or masculine images, or masculine quotes, or, or whatever that is. But, you know, I'm going to do that, I think, for next Tuesdays. So, oh, hey, Foraging Seeker, how are you doing? How have you been? See, this is this is good, doing a little bit of a different time than my normal morning live streams, getting some old friends to come in. How have you been? Yeah, I'm just kind of throwing down colors kind of randomly. And um, some of these I can make all kinds of things, cards, necklaces, uh, hoping to make a few earrings, just a few different things out of some of these. You want to see some camo colors? Um, I have a lot of greens here in front of me. I don't have too many um, browns. I have a dark brown, and that's about it for the browns. But we can make some um, kind of a green foresty camo. This one had a lot of paint, so we're going to see. We hope that one dries. It should dry pretty good, though. All right. So this is going to be a little bit more of a um, shorter live stream, guys. It's probably only another 10, 15 minutes tonight. Then I got to get busy getting the dinner, you know, finished up. So um, it's right now it's just about five o'clock. I was a little bit later than I wanted to be getting on here, actually. So um, let's see. I don't, I can't do with what I colors I have in front of me too much camo colors, but I've got some greens. We'll get some nice leafy foliage colors. Let's say that instead. I don't really have too much camo colors per se in front of me, but we can get some nice foliage colors going. I say that weird word wrong. Why am I saying that? Let me get this to, there's a little bit too much much paint in just one area let me yeah i'm happy you were able to catch me too oh i had some electrical issues ah that's a nightmare we did last winter i guess maybe a little over that ah oh, we had so much electrical nightmare for a while so hopefully you got that resolved that is no fun We got some just kind of cream color. And this is a new color. This color is called Cascade. So it's a nice, it goes in there with that kind of leaf green color we're looking for. That other color, that green was winter green. And I think I will throw just a little bit of brown in there. Oh, I say so many words wrong. I don't know. It's just it comes out faster than my mind thinks. My mouth works a little faster than my brain sometimes. All right, that should be good. There's plenty of paint. Actually, right in the middle, there's too much paint, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I can kind of get it to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drip some of this darker green just 
just to bit around, but not to overdo it. Because this dark green, it's a, um, and this is a funny color too. This is hooker's green and it can really take over. So I'm literally just a little bit down. The ones that are in tubs, they have silicone in them. The ones that are in bottles, there's only two bottles that actually have silicone here in front of me. But the rest do not. Yeah, um, when you're doing camo colors in your tie-dye, saw them more as earthy colors. Yeah, me too. I mean, these are probably going to come out kind of camo colors, but I think of it, me too. I just kind of go more to kind of just natural colors, earthy tones. But yeah, there's just certain people think of the, you know, colors, same colors, but they'll think of them as some certain. It'll remind them of something different. That's just, that's how it goes. Yes, they are. They're like lion's mane. They're amazing. Amazing mushrooms. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of um, turned into kind of some bit of a camel look or, you know, just kind of foliage. Um, the uh, bear's tooth mushrooms were amazing. They tasted just like crab and they had the same like texture consistency as crab. Absolutely amazing. Oh, hey, Creations by Baby Doll. All right. Hey, I did send you an email, by the way, too. So whenever later tomorrow, whenever you get a chance, um, I got did send you an email. But um, have a great night and thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, I'll see you hopefully soon. All right. I don't know why I say to you guys, like, you'll see me in the chats or, you know, when I'm face to face. But I always say to you guys, I'll see you soon. I'll see your guys in chat, but I won't really see you. But that's what I mean when I say that sometimes. So that's pretty cool. You guys can see the cells just kind of pop up quite a few cells in that one. And that's because I used a couple of different colors with those. Um, the brown also has the silicone. That's one of the two bottles that do. All right. So we got, we're going to do three more sets. So six total papers, but three more sets. So however long that takes, that's probably just another 10 minutes probably. And then I've got to get going for dinner too. So, and then on Friday, I will be back live at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And Friday's live stream, to remind everybody, is the second part in my series about bazaars or craft fairs, art sales, whatever you want to call them. But um, this series that we last Friday was the first part. And it was about how to find them and what you're looking for in, in a craft fair or bazaar. Now, this week, it's going to be more on setup and kind of a checklist of everything you want to make sure you bring if you're going to be participating in a craft fair. So it's a little bit different. So, guys, we're going to get wild on this one. We're going to go with some green in there, all different colors on this one. I'm wanting to kind of get, because it's not going to be a full page. It'll be collaged out, so you're not going to see everything. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'd love to forage as much as we can. Mainly berries and mushrooms we tend to stick with. I really want to get some, um, oh, what do you, my blind, mine went blank on the, um, the ferns, when the ferns very first pop up. What do you call the, oh, my mind totally went blank on that one, but um, I know uh, there's a few other greens around in our area we could find but I honestly don't know how to identify them that's my next thing I really want to learn how to identify some of the greens we have here we mainly go with the mushrooms and the berries I can identify a lot fiddlehead ferns that's that it, 
it. I want to get some fiddlehead ferns this year. That's one I would love to um, kind of expand and check those out. So, guys, this is kind of reminding me of a carnival or something. This one's kind of wild here. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So, I think I'm going to throw just, no, yeah, I think I'll just go with that, actually. Um, Maybe this lighter blue, actually. But not much. Just kind of a little bit contrasting around. And because it also has silicone, so it gives it a little bit more silicone. But yeah, definitely. I mean, we're Pacific Northwest is uh, we got a, the forage and stuff for our stuff. It's so much abundance here, so much to find. And we got, uh, this year for mushrooms was a huge year. Chanterelles were, wow. We got a big, um, we got a couple of quarts that we dehydrated. And this was our first year dehydrating chanterelles. So. Oh, mushroom ketchup. Okay. I'm going to have to check that one out because we're always looking for, because I mean, like this year we had so many, we were looking for things to do with all of them. So, all right, guys, let's see how this wild one is going to turn out. Pretty wild, <laughs> different colors here. Kind of got a little bit of a bald spot, just filling that little bit of bald spot in. And another one. Didn't put quite as much paint. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Didn't put quite as much paint down. So uh, that's got a little bit of spots there. But uh, we, we covered them right up, just those couple of spots. Yeah, this year was crazy. The mushrooms were everywhere. All right, guys. So only four more. So two sets. So this is the last of the photo paper I have right next to me. And the last set I'm going to do, I have some cardstock. And it's kind of going to be an experiment to see how well the cardstock works. So this one, I'm going to put some random colors. Hey, I wrote creativity. Yeah. How are you? See, I should do some more evening ones. I'm getting all kinds of people. Not that I don't love my regulars that are here with me in the morning. You guys are amazing as well. Um, yeah, see, we are normally what we do is we take our chanterelles if we have extras and we cook them up and freeze them. But this year I had gotten a new um, uh uh, dehydrator. So I wanted to try that dehydrator. And so what I mainly will probably use is for stews and things that are going to be cooking a real long time to kind of reconstitute them. Because I have heard um, they are going to be a little bit more on the um, kind of rubbery, chewier side. So, oh yeah, definitely going to be using them in stews and things that are going to cook real long time. But we haven't um, I actually have plans maybe next week because that's when our cold weather, I don't know if you've noticed uh, the weather report, but it's looking like we're going to get some, maybe a little bit of colder weather this next week. Getting some gold down here now on this one. Just randomly going out with the colors for this one. I've been really well, doing real well. It's the bizarre season for me. Uh, meaning the craft fairs, art sales, what everybody, um, I've noticed different region, regions of the country tend to call them, you know, some people call them bazaars, some people call them art sales, some people call them craft fairs, but um, that's kind of, that's the season we're in right now. All right, I think I'm going to put just a little bit more of that pink down. Especially getting it out to the edges. 
you paint board some buttons you mean like um buttons for clothing like or buttons like um like buttons to i don't know how to explain it but uh Awesome. Uh, I've been thinking about doing some of the little wooden buttons like for, to on a shirt, you know, a button. One appliance at the time. Yeah, I think I saw um, next week about midweek. It might be at least down here in Southwest Washington. I'm not sure. Ooh, we got quite a few blank spots. See, we didn't go with quite enough paint there, but you know what? That's okay, because we're going to do the next one, those same ones. And because this is collage, it'll be okay. We'll just, those are areas that didn't get paint. And I can get a little bit of paint here. And it'll be just fine. Okay, yeah, you have the same idea I was talking about. Uh, the for clothes, that's awesome. How'd they turn out, I rock? See, now you won't even know. Awesome. All right. So now I'm going to do just a couple of pieces of cardstock. And we're going to see um, right at the beginning of my paint pouring journey, I had tried cardstock, but I honestly had a different recipe for how I mixed my paint. It had a little bit more water in it. And it did not work to use cardstock the last time I tried it. So this is a new, we're going to retry cardstock and see if it will work uh, without really bowing and really folding up on us. And so um, I use a lot less water. So I'm hoping that will help. But I'm going to go with very similar colors to what we just did. And this is going to be my last one for tonight, guys. So if you have any questions, please ask away, ask away. And a reminder, I am not going to be live streaming in the month of December. There will be no live streams. But the rest of November, there's going to be a whole bunch of live streams. But December, there will be no live streams. But there will be lots of videos, just no live streams. Yeah, let me see the pictures. That's awesome. Yeah, I actually um, was going through some of my old craft stuff that I had from some old projects before I paint poured. And I saw that I actually have some buttons. And so that's what I was thinking. Oh, how can I pour on these? That's awesome. So hopefully this... Um, Card stock will hold up to this much paint, but this will be an experiment pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you're enjoying going back to the basics in, you know, in a sort of a fashion. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, different. So it counts. All right, now some gold, a bunch of gold, really. This would make into a nice um, mermaid, something to do with mermaids, a mermaid tail or mermaid quote. I had cut a bunch of mermaids out for yesterday's live stream. Mermaid tails, mainly. But, yeah. What an awesome live stream. Got my first, I guess that was a super sticker. Those are new, but it was my first super chat, super sticker, any of that sort. I almost teared up $2. That was amazing. 
<laughs> what a great chat. A lot of old friends stopping in. This has been an amazing live stream. I do got to get going to get dinner on the table, though. So this is going to be. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Mike. Um, so this is going to be the last one, guys, unless you have any questions. OK, so we got quite a bit more paint down than we did that last one. So cool to watch it just develop. But um, so hopefully these will dry nicely on the cardstock because I would like to, that would be a great alternative if I can do it on cardstock. How cheap would that be? And that would be great for making my cards. I'm making a bunch of cards up. I'll show you guys those on Tuesday's live stream. Oh, you your smartwatch fan. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. So, yeah, so my next couple live streams, Friday, will be about how to do a setup at a vending event, like a bazaar or craft fair. What are good setup tips and what are good tips on what all you should make sure you bring with you and about the actual event itself. And then, uh, yes, yes, I am. I've got that in the works. Some butterfly wings, definitely because of how they're mirrored image and it comes out like this. Yes, um, I have some. They're more in the purples range. The butterfly wings I was working on. Uh, last night I was working on those. But yes, great minding alike. I was thinking of those butterfly wings as well for something like this. Because it kind of works perfect with the mirrored image. Great idea. But yeah, so hopefully you guys can... Uh, can come to another live stream here soon. We'll have some more evening ones here in November. November 30th, the live stream is going to have some giveaways. So, um, but my next live stream will be Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then I'll be back on Tuesday at 9 a.m. as well. Maybe I'll fit in an evening. I'm not sure. Hopefully I will get a chance to fit in an evening then, real soon, the next few days, hopefully. So I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. You guys are all so awesome. Thank you. And I appreciate each and each and every one of you guys. Um, to have something custom made before Christmas would be probably like right now, if you wanted something custom made would be within the next few days. Um, I do have lots and lots of stuff made up already. And that would be um, by like, especially since you're in Washington state, it would be pretty close to Christmas. I think the cutoff date for um, the USPS United States, the postal service, it would be, um, I think it's like the 12th or 15th of December. So yeah, um, but you can always, uh, foraging seeker, um, let me put in my email and I'll, here, I'll type in my email for you. You can always email me if you have any questions or um, let me think. I can't talk and type tonight. Usually I can keep talking while I type, but I totally let me read them. Make sure I'm sending the right. Yes. So that is my email address. So if you would like to email me, we can talk about something. I've got lots of stuff already done. But if you want something custom done, it would have to be pretty soon. Yeah, um, the, the reason is, is because a lot of things take almost three weeks to dry. So um, right now our window is, I mean, within the next couple days. But because of the three week window to dry things. But yeah, you can email me if you we can talk about it. We can figure something out. But um, so yeah, guys, I gotta get off of here. We usually have dinner between about 5, 5 30. So I better be getting it on the table, getting it finished, the finishing touches to dinner done. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. It was awesome having you guys. Hope to have you in a live stream again soon. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Have a good one.